Hey Rebel Rouser, I'm Alan Voivod and this is Star Wars 7x7, your daily dose of Star Wars joy. And thank you so much for joining me for it. So, No Such Thing as a Bad Customer Part 2 appears in issue 218 of Star Wars Insider Magazine. This is the conclusion of the story that basically also concludes the events of the Battle of Jeddah. And it's interesting how the High Republic story folks have talked about the Battle of Jeddah, that audio drama original, being the sort of linchpin story between Wave 1 and Wave 2 of Phase 2 of the High Republic storytelling. Well, as it turns out, these Tales of Enlightenment stories also seem to be you know, taking place in that sort of you know, bridge point era, where the first few stories happen before the Battle of Jeddah, then the next few stories are happening within the Battle of Jeddah, and we reach a point with this one where whatever's coming next is happening after the Battle of Jeddah. At least that's the way things seem to be laid out because, and by the way, we're in full spoiler territory for this, by the end of this story, the battle has moved away from Enlightenment, the tap bar that is featured in all of these stories. It is still going on, but there is a calm that pervades after the events of this story and people get to witness the aftermath of the fighting and the rioting and everything that's gone on in and around the Enlightenment bar. It does seem like the next stories are going to be about cleanup for all intents and purposes and about the aftermath of the battle and at some point they're going to have to find out what happened to Keth in the Battle of Jeddah. Keth gets another mention here with characters hoping that he's all right in the midst of everything and it's just heartbreaking every time. Darn you George Mann, it's heartbreaking every time. Now there's some interesting dynamics happening within the story which is very action-packed but what you hear with the way that things are structured is that a bunch of refugees are hiding inside the Enlightenment tap bar. Rioters appear to be after them. Most of these refugees are members of the Path of the Open Hand and they are being protected by Jedi. That would be the Jedi Padawan Mathia Cathley, a.k.a. Maddie, and also a Sorcerer of Tund named Tarna. And we haven't talked about the Sorcerers of Tund really very much on the podcast, but I know that they are making appearances in the comics, and that's something that we will get to eventually. But there is a bit of a friction. We've seen other situations where Jedi have used the Force to protect Path members from harm, and whereas Path members are you know, grateful, they're also horrified at the same time time and those discussions have been had in other Star Wars storytelling based on the way this story lays out. There's no opportunity to explore that necessarily but because of the fact that they've done that in previous stories you kind of know that path members who are there have to be really freaked out on multiple levels not just by the fact that the rioters are after them but by the fact that the Jedi are abusing the force to protect them and one would imagine that a lot of these path members are comparatively innocent in the sense that they may not understand the evil nefarious doings that the leadership of the path of the open hand is up to they may just be you know honest people who you know, think they're doing the right thing by you know following this path and thinking that the force should be free so you know that's also tragic in its own right then adding to the confusion and difficulties the fact that enforcer droids are trying to break through the wall of enlightenment and are shooting completely at random for all intents and purposes, these Enforcer droids were turned loose by Irem as part of the Battle of Jeddah, but they don't seem to be targeting Arano people. They seem to be just be targeting anyone in their path, and for some reason, a bunch of them have focused on Enlightenment. There's no suggestion that Arano people are hiding out in there or anything like that, but yeah, it's just like this irem thing turned loose has gone completely haywire. Now, I know I said this was a full spoiler podcast, and yet I'm not going to spoil the ending for you, how it is that the regulars of Enlightenment managed to deal with these situations and also in their own way to help Maddie and Tarn and the Sorcerer of Tun, who are definitely getting worn down by the rioters on one side and the Enforcer droids on the other side. <laughs> So they're stuck in the middle and they manage to figure out a way to deal with it all. Something that really comes clearly through, of kind of above all of this really, is that even though we're reading this story for the conflict between the Path of the Open Hand and the Jedi and the Irem and Arano Civil War and that going on, what really comes through is the effect of these different battles on the lives of ordinary citizens on Jeddah who are just looking to live a peaceful life. And Jeddah is supposed to be a place of 
serenity and security and peace. And when the Jedi and the path collide and when Iram and Arano collide, they utterly lay waste to so much. And it's just so incredibly tragic and also particularly tragic for the people on Jeddah who you know, are constantly saying, we didn't ask for this. We didn't want this here. And you know, now look what's happened to us. And so you can absolutely feel the pain and the blame and all of that. And it is really just tragic to see what happens to ordinary people caught in the middle of these dire circumstances. So those are the things I wanted to highlight for you about No Such Thing as a Bad Customer Part 2, which is also, I believe, the longest of the short stories so far. Usually there are only a couple of spreads. This one actually goes three spreads, and that's unusual for you know one of the two-parter stories. And so, yeah, this, I think, is one of the longest ones, too. So a little fun fact for <laughs> you know, as we wrap things up here. And that's going to do it for this episode of the podcast. It just remains for me to say thank you so much for joining me for it as always, and may the force be with you wherever in the world you may be. Star Wars 7x7 is not endorsed or sponsored yet by Lucasfilm Limited, Disney, or 20th Century Fox, and is intended for entertainment and information purposes only. Star Wars, the Star Wars logo, all names and pictures of Star Wars characters, vehicles, and any other Star Wars related items are registered trademarks and or copyrights of Lucasfilm Limited, other respective trademark and copyright holders. May the force be with them. All original content is copyright 2021 by Star Wars 7x7. We hope you love it.